Thank you. I am honored and humbled to be here today. Today I would like to talk about the true meaning of Memorial Day. But before the presentation, I would like to turn it over to the chaplain for today's prayer. Please uncover. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in your hands are the living and the dead. On Memorial Day, for all those, our comrades and sisters, who have laid down their lives in the service of our country, may they rest in peace and may perpetual light shine upon them. May the good work of seeking justice for the oppressed and peace for all mankind be rewarded with success that their sacrifices shall not have been in vain. And may we never fail to remember the awesome cost of the freedom which we enjoy. Amen. Recover. Thank you, Chaplain. Memorial Day is a day unlike any other. Since 1868, we have come together in communities, cities, and towns to place flowers and flags on the graves of those who have given their full, full their last full measure of devotion to our country. We have come here to remember and honor those who have done their duty and never ask anything in return other than to be respected and remembered for doing their duty of protecting our freedom and our way of life. In doing so, millions of these soldiers paid the ultimate sacrifice, their life for our freedom. Memorial Day, which was originally called Decoration Day, it's a day of remembrance for those soldiers who have died in service of the United States of America. It was called Decoration Day because families and friends of the fallen soldiers would come together to decorate the graves of those brave men with flowers and wreaths. Decoration Day was then renamed Memorial Day by President Nixon in 1971 and became a, na a National Day of Remembrance. A day of national awareness and respect to honor all the Americans who have died defending this great country of ours. The meaning of memorial is in memory, which in mind we know, with this in mind, we know the true meaning of Memorial Day, which is to honor and remember all those American soldiers who died defending our freedom, our right to be free. For the second year in a row, Memorial Day looks a little different than in years past. In many cases, our backyard barbecues and get togethers are places replaced by video chats and other modern technology. Still, we hold on to some semblance of what life was and what we know it to return to. And the memories of emotions this day brings are always the same. For countless families across the nation, Memorial Day is often a painful remember, reminder of those who were never afforded the opportunity to be honored as veterans for their service to their country. Their service is a true expression of selfless service. No one one that no one would pick for themselves. Whether they volunteered at time of war, serving during peacetime, or never expected to wear the uniform, under the draft card until they received their draft cards, they represent the best America has to offer. This will be the 20th year we have we are at war, longer than any other conflict came before. About 2.7 million Americans have served in Afghanistan and Iraq over half of them deployed more than once. Those who returned now are in our, in our communities, neighbors, and friends. If you take the time to learn about any veteran where you live, you will be impressed with the stories of service and sacrifice, known only to those who have witnessed it burnt hand. Then there are the unbelievable brave accounts of those heroes who can no longer speak for themselves. It is up to us not only to tell their stories, but to honor their service and memory by ensuring their families and survivors are taken care of. In closing, the harsh reality of war and military service in general is that not everyone will make it home. Let us honor the memory of heroes no longer with us and let us strive to live up to the example set by such selfless patriots each and every day. Thank you for being here today.